citizens. You happen to live in California, we have an obligation uh, to, to work together. Uh, and to the extent we can be resourceful and provide these resources, um, I'm going to make sure that we prevail. Uh, and I can assure you from a legal perspective, uh, we have a track to do that. From a moral perspective, there's no debate on this issue. Uh, and we will blow back aggressively on the Department of Labor. Uh, but I'm sorry you had to come out on your time off. And I'm sorry you're going through this whole thing. Um, and I can only imagine you watching folks like me squabbling, uh, how demoralizing that is. Uh, are uh, now uh, dealing with issues of child care and, uh, and concerns about landlords making phone calls or bill collectors knocking on their doors is a disgrace. Uh, they should be ashamed of themselves for the Department of Labor. Governor, given what you've heard from these workers today, what is your message to Washington above and beyond just the Department of Labor? Yeah, what grow up and say? get your act together. Do your job. I mean, I don't know what more I can this communicate, is a you know, and, um, you know, it is not a test in terms of the, the impact that this is having on the lives of, of, of literally hundreds of thousands of Californians uh, and the impact that's having on millions of Californians in turn um, and how it puts the public safety of all of us at risk. Now, these are heroes that are not using that as an excuse not to do their job. They're doing the right thing and they're showing up. Um, they don't have to do that under circumstances. You don't get paid. Most folks don't show up. Um, and, uh, and so I, I want to just acknowledge that and compliment that. But look, um, we're past the point of absurdity. And you saw today the tit for tat and the president speak. I mean, this is, this, is, this is embarrassing. How do you explain this to your kids? So look, if we don't get the assistance from the federal government, um, we have tools, we have resources in this state. And uh, we want to do our best. We can't make people whole, but we can make them partially whole. Uh, these unemployment benefits last 26 weeks, you know, up to a little over $450, I think, is uh, where we cap out. And that certainly can help with some of the anxiety, some of the stress. It doesn't do everything. Um, and uh, the message I have to the federal government is let us as states do the job you can't do for yourself. Uh, we'll have the back of the American uh, people if you can't do your job at the federal government. Governor, about that letter that you got from the Labor Department. Uh, so they're basically saying what? They won't reimburse California? Yeah, yeah they're basically saying, you know, uh, tell us what you're doing. Well, I'm telling them what we're doing. And this is a public response to their email. They asked, what are we doing? And here's what we're doing. We're providing unemployment insurance to furloughed workers. They go on in a letter saying, you can't provide unemployment insurance for federal workers. And I'm here to say we can and we will. Uh, we believe we have the legal right to do that. And I have my legal team that's already reviewed this. Uh, they cite a 2013 memo. Uh, in that memo, uh, we believe that we have the right to do this. Uh, and uh, to the extent they want to take the next step, uh, tell them to come out here and uh, take that next step. Uh, because uh, I am firm in my resolve that, uh, uh, that not only are we going to do this, uh, but uh, that we have the right to do it. To be able to explain to the governor my situation with having a for sale sign in front of my house and uh, what me and my family are going through um, speaks louder than words that he's here. And uh, it's for real that we have somebody in power that's directly connected to D.C. to be able to show up and try to speak on our behalf towards the president and the Congress. That this is not just affecting numbers, it's affecting people. And uh, we're not just another statistic or another number. We're, we're an actual person with living, breathing feelings, hopes and dreams that, you know, this is where we are, this is what we chose, this is our profession. Uh, we protect people that go on planes, we protect their cargo, and we protect their commerce. And so, um, we, like we've all said before, we've taken an oath to protect from all enemies, foreign and domestic. And uh, this seems like now, hopefully, that they can protect us and defend us.